Now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. Beware, current news events are leading to scams on Facebook. Whenever there is a tragedy, scam artists try to cash in. And the horrible bombing and shooting in Norway is no different. Problem solver Susan Hogan has more. Becoming a victim of scams from those who are profiting from recent tragedies is so sad, but it happens. Cultural for Action has important information on how to detect the thieves trying to cash in. Most everyone you know is on Facebook these days, and the scam artists are too. But guess what? They're not your friends. Obviously, people that are on Facebook and see current news stories and videos attached to them find them enticing. In light of the bombing and shootings in Norway or the sudden death of singer Amy Winehouse, it's hard to believe that scammers would take advantage of such tragic situations, but they do. They want people to click on the links, watch the videos, download a survey, an online survey, in which these scammers get paid for those who participate. What's happening on Facebook, according to the Better Business Bureau, scammers claim there are links to a video from Oslo security cameras showing the actual explosion as it happened. Phrases such as leaked video or Amy Winehouse on crack hours before death, warning graphic content. There were no videos of Amy Winehouse that we know of yet. Uh, and if there's a tragedy in Norway of a video that transpired, really use your common sense. Is it going to be out there on Facebook? If you're one of the thousands of people who fell for this type of scam, be sure to remove any trace of it from your account likes and interest section, for example, and report this scam to Facebook immediately. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan. Eyewitness News.